Well, Ralph Braun, a Hoosier entrepreneur who spent most of his life in a wheelchair, launched his company 50 years ago. And Braun Ability has grown into one of the biggest names in the mobility industry. Founded in Winnemac and still manufacturing there, the company is celebrating its 50th anniversary in a unique way. Business of Health reporter Kylie Valletta has more. Kylie. Thank you, Gary. Braun Ability is marking 50 years by building 50 free wheelchair ramps in 50 days for Hoosiers who would otherwise have no way to safely get out of their home. The company is a global leader in manufacturing wheelchair accessible vehicles and wheelchair lifts, but Braun Ability says their products don't matter if people with disabilities can't first get out of their home. And joining me now to tell us how the ramps at home connect with their mission is Megan Wegner, Senior Brand Manager at Braun Ability. Hi, Megan, and happy anniversary. Oh, hi, Kylie. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for being on the show today. Let's just start with a quick refresher uh, for Hoosiers who maybe don't know about Braun Ability uh, in Indiana. Give us a quick snapshot of what you do there. Sure. So Braun Ability is a global leader in mobility transportation solutions. And uh, basically, we change lives by making sure that people with mobility challenges and their families can, can safely and uh, independently travel. Right. So this focuses on vehicles and getting in and out of vehicles and uh, moving, uh, driving while they're in the vehicles, obviously. But uh, you have a history there in Winnemac and really in central Indiana, too, that is such a neat legacy. You have a great founding story. Uh, give us just a little bit of your history there. Yeah, sure. So our founder's name was Ralph Braun, and he was born back in the 1940s. And at a young age, he uh, found out that he had muscular dystrophy. So his uh, parents were obviously uh, devastated. Uh, they they took him to, to hospitals, and doctors said uh, he's probably not going to live to be an adult and thought he should be hospitalized probably uh, through the rest of his life. And uh, his parents said, uh, that's not for us and brought him back to Winnemac. And when he slowly began to lose strength in his uh, legs and arms, he and his dad engineered the first uh, motorized scooter so he could get around on his own. And from there, he uh, engineered along with his dad, again, uh, a way to get a wheelchair lift installed in an old coastal Jeep and then added hand controls. And that was effectively the first ever wheelchair accessible vehicle. And more and more people saw him driving around from his wheelchair and said, I have a neighbor, I have a friend, I have a family member who could use something like that. And Ralph realized, I think there's a business here. And uh, as I said, we're, we're celebrating our, our 50th anniversary. Great, such a neat story. And you still manufacture there in Winnemac. You do have global headquarters here in Carmel. Uh, let's talk about this uh, project you're doing to celebrate 50 years, the 50 free ramps. Uh, tell us why you chose to do this and how it connects with your mission. Sure. We knew we wanted to celebrate our anniversary by giving back to our uh, communities where we live and work. And uh, we partnered with this amazing organization based in Indiana. Uh, they're called SAWS, and they build ramps free of charge for low-income Hoosiers and uh, help them safely get out of their homes. And we thought that's a perfect match. Obviously, uh, the products that we build help our customers and their families discover the world around them uh, outside of their homes. but they're, um, they're useless, really, if you're trapped inside your own home. So uh, we thought this is a perfect way to give back to our communities and also ground our employees in uh, our mission and the people who we're helping every day. And I know you've got a good portion of those ramps already built. Uh, you also just found out that Braun Ability won first place and a $1 million prize in a recent competition with the U.S. Department of Transportation. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it was an exciting week for us. Uh, we found out on Tuesday, which was the 32nd anniversary of the ADA, that Braun Ability and Purdue University together uh, won this first place award. It was the government's first ever uh, inclusive design challenge and basically uh, challenged companies to come up with a, a prototype of the future of autonomous inclusive travel. And so we did win that and that $1 million will go to uh, funding that research and development. All right, and if you could just touch on looking uh, to the future, just a few seconds left. What kind of trends are you seeing in mobility? What do you see for the future there of Brownability? Well, we're definitely focused on uh, electric vehicles and uh, our eyes are um, definitely on autonomous travel too. That can be a real game changer for people with disabilities. All right, Megan, uh, happy anniversary again, and thanks for being on the show today. Thank you so much.